Hey YouTube Rando here. So it's about time for another finds video. I figure it's been a while since we've done one. Uh, we have quite a few awesome finds that I wanted to come share with you. This is probably my favorite find, uh, although it's not my favorite firearm. Um, this is the Rossi, oh hell, I think it's just called a range rifle. I'm not sure about the exact name. The M92 or something along those lines. Uh, I did an unboxing on this gun. I did a review on this gun. I think I already did the review. Um, it's a cool little gun, however, the fit and finish isn't right, so uh, I'm still thinking about going ahead and investing in a uh, uh, a Henry lever action, so it is a cool gun. I paid full price for this, by the way. I didn't get a really good deal on it or nothing. I just thought I would come show it because I thought it was a cool find. It's uh, chambered in 357 mag and uh, 38 special. NC, nice short barrel short stock uh... price on this one's right around five hundred i don't recall the exact price but it was right around five hundred bucks so again i didn't get an awesome deal on it or nothing i just wanted to come show it <laughs> i got a squirmer underneath the blanket there um, so we're going to reset the camera and we'll come back and show you the rest of what we picked up all right so this is probably my best find this is a uh, Monarch ammo. It's nine millimeter, eight hundred rounds. You guys know I usually don't uh, go into uh, ammo. We don't we don't store a lot of ammo here. Usually, if I have ammo, I shoot it. Um, you know, I don't consider my guns a part of my preps. Again, they're just a collection, so uh, I don't I don't store ammo for all my guns. In fact, if I couldn't even shoot all my guns right now because I don't have ammo to, that would uh, you know. I don't have every caliber of ammo of every gun I own, so it's just the way it is. Um, but I wanted to start stocking up a little bit here and there on some 9 mil because we do shoot 9 mil a lot. Uh, I've got like four different guns that I'll run through 9 millimeter. Now this is steel case, and you guys know I don't like shooting steel case, so it probably won't get shot. It probably will be part of uh, like an ammo storage we're going to do. Um, we're going to put back a little bit of 9 millimeter, not much. Uh, a little bit of 22, maybe 1,000 rounds of each, something like that. Um, no, we don't need that much. I mean, it's just the way it is. We're not, we're not prepping for Armageddon here. You know, uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. My guns aren't my preps. You know, my preps are food, water, things like that. But uh, it is nice to have a little bit of ammo just to do some uh, target practice or what have you. Uh, so that's what I got this for. And... Uh, my Glock will chew through still, no problem. I have a Glock that'll run still, no problem. My uh, uh, Sub 2000 will run still as well, so not a big deal. I can shoot some still here and there. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got some more TP. That's the boardwalk toilet paper. You guys may remember about maybe a year, year and a half ago, we picked up 96 rolls, a big case of it. Uh, I've actually tried out quite a few rolls of that toilet paper, and it's not bad toilet paper. Uh, it's not like the thin stuff you get inside of a porta potty. It's actually the good stuff they use inside of uh, good porta potties or what have you. I guess I don't know where they use it, but um, it's soft. It's good toilet paper. Doesn't break down. Doesn't leave lint. Things like that. Uh, so they had these. The last ones we got were 96 rolls, 400 sheets per roll, and we paid almost $40, uh, which was a great deal. We did the math, and it's roughly. It's over six months, but minimum six months toilet paper for me and my family. Uh, for a family of four, two growing kids, a boy, uh, two growing boys, uh, a grown man, and a grown woman. You know what I mean? So um, it's roughly six months. So now we got about a year's worth of toilet paper put back. Uh, probably a, probably closer to 16 months, something like that. But we're just going to say a year to be safe. Uh, but this stuff was 500 sheets per roll, double ply. And it was, oh hell, 30, 32 something. We ended up getting it about eight bucks cheaper than we got the last stuff. And there's a hundred sheets per roll more on this toilet paper. So we got a good deal on it. This was on eBay. Uh, the sellers still have it shipped straight out of Texas. I got this in one day. I ordered it one day. The next day it was sitting on my doorstep. So very fast shipper. Um, you just have to look on eBay. Look for a Texas Texas seller in eBay selling boardwalk toilet paper. So not bad stuff though for the price. Uh, we didn't. We got it. We got a drone. You know, um, we like RC stuff around here. We always have. We've always done the RC thing. 
Uh, one thing we've never done though is gotten into the drones, and I wanted to get into a uh, lower model drone, kind of kind of just test the waters and try them out a little bit. And they had these Sky Vipers marked down to, hell, I think it was like seventy nine ninety nine or something like that. Uh, and this isn't the regular Sky Viper that just records. Uh, this one actually has streaming, so it has a way you could hook your phone up to the uh, controller and it has a little holder for it so you can actually see what the drone's seeing while you're flying uh, which I thought was kind of cool I think that would be cool for something like retreat security or something you know I mean that's not why we got it I got kids and my kids wanted a drone so they got a drone but um, I think it would work for like retreat security if you just wanted to run it around your property real quick just to check and see who's out there and make sure nothing you know whatever uh, a lot of guys use drones uh, for uh, security reasons or whatever we don't but it's an idea. We might do a video on it and uh, see how well this thing does or does not work. It has an auto launch button, an auto land button. Um, so I'm hoping it's easy to fly. Uh, we're going to test that out and find out. Again, it's a Sky Viper. You can see there, there's the little camera on it, the place for the battery. We're going to pick up a few more batteries because flight time on the batteries is only like 15 minutes. Uh, so we're going to pick up three or four batteries. So when we go out to the uh, trails, we can take this thing with us. And maybe do some aerial, you know, footage of uh, where we hike at, something like that, something along those lines. So let's see. Uh, did the drone nine millimeter? Oh, got a new flashlight. And again, I've already showed it. We did an unboxing, uh, and I did pay full price for it. It's the TN12 through night. That's high. That's not even turbo. I don't ever use turbo. Uh, 500 lumens is plenty for me. That's what my ED11 is. That's what my ADC flashlight is. So. Uh, that's what I carry. It's no big deal. Work works. Uh, great, great little flashlight. Too kind of too big for an EDC light, which most 18650s are. Uh, so it's probably not going to be an EDC light, but it is a cool light nonetheless. So I wanted to come show it. And I said the gun was my favorite find. I lied because uh, I forgot about this one. Spyderco Rubicon 2. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it just because I got it off a of buddy here on YouTube, the fat man. I don't want to go blurting out the man's prices, but uh, I can tell you I paid a whole lot less than I would have um, if I'd have bought it brand new from somewhere else, which it was brand new when I bought it from the fat man as well. Uh, you could tell it had never been used to even cut paper. It was, it was just a clean knife. Um, but I did pay close to $60 less than I would have if I'd have bought it off eBay or Amazon or another seller or you know any any knife company that carries it. It's probably about a $225 knife roughly uh, somewhere in there. Very expensive knife and I paid under $200 for it. That's just that's what I'm going to say. Uh, so that's probably my favorite find because we did uh, a buddy of mine had a benefit not too long ago and I could not afford to uh, give him any time or any money. I didn't have any money <laughs> and I didn't have the time to go you know, donate my time to help out. Uh, so I ended up donating a uh, a Yeti cooler and a uh, uh, the Spiderco Sage. Uh, hell, I forget which one which one it is. It's the knife we picked up from the Fat Man recently, but probably about six months ago, uh, we bought it off of him. I think it was right around a hundred bucks, but it was about a two hundred dollar knife, uh, and I barely ever used it. So I donated that blade and, and a cooler. Uh, to the cause because that's all I had so I didn't have a really good pocket knife I wanted another one I've been wanting one since I got rid of it and uh, when I seen this one come across his desk I just had to have it it's carbon fiber it's a beautiful blade love this knife awesome blade uh, we have some more finds videos coming in we got a bunch of new gear coming in a bunch of different stuff so we're going to be doing some more uh, probably in another week or two we'll have another one come out uh, be looking out for it that's going to be it for this one thanks for watching YouTube